Have you ever had your antivirus software remove something important from your computer? It can be incredibly frustrating, especially when you're trying to work on a project. If that's you, stick around because today we're addressing a common issue with AVG antivirus removing adb.exe. I completely understand your concern. Many users have faced similar situations where their antivirus software mistakenly flags essential files as threats. You're definitely not alone in this. And it's a common hiccup in the world of software development. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, how do I reinstall adb.exe after AVG removed it? They were worried about whether they needed to download the entire SDK again, or if they could simply restore the file. Sound familiar? Let's explore the solution together. So what exactly is happening here? AVG antivirus sometimes misidentifies adb.exe as a threat due to its behavior. This can disrupt your development workflow, especially if you're working with Android Studio. Understanding this will help us find the right fix. And don't go anywhere. By the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to prevent this from happening in the future. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. To begin resolving the issue with adb.exe being removed, the user should first locate the Android SDK folder on their system. This is where the platform tools, including adb.exe, are typically stored. If the user cannot find the adb.exe file in the platform tools folder, they may need to reinstall the SDK. The easiest way to do this is by using the Android Studio SDK Manager. Alternatively, if the user prefers to download the SDK manually, they can visit the official Android developer website. Here, they can download the SDK tools as a zipped file. After downloading the SDK tools, the user should unzip the file and place it in the desired location. They should ensure that the platform tools folder is included. Finally, to prevent a vast antivirus from removing adb.exe again, the user should add an exception for the platform tools folder in their antivirus settings. Fun fact, did you know that ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge? It's a crucial tool for developers allowing them to communicate with Android devices. So losing it can feel like losing a vital part of your toolkit. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests that you don't need to download the entire SDK again. Instead, you can simply download the platform tools from the official Android site. This package includes ADB, Fastboot, and Systrace. Here's that quick tip I promised. Add adb.exe to your antivirus exceptions list. This way, AVG won't mistakenly remove it again, allowing you to work without interruptions. And there you have it. You should now have adb.exe back and ready to use. Remember, keeping your antivirus settings in check can save you a lot of headaches in the future. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and let us know in the comments how it worked out for you.